from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Well, good evening, State College. I'm student meteorologist Patrick Wright with your CNET forecast, and we're going to take a step back in time. Earlier this morning, midnight for our Tuesday, well, the sun was set and we had some fog move in right around 4 a.m. and that did hang around giving us a dense fog advisory but it did lift and the sun did eventually start to peak on out here in central Pennsylvania but those high clouds do remain 63 degrees as you step outside right now so all in all it doesn't feel too bad went for a walk earlier it was nice to enjoy some of the cooler weather and less humid weather with the lower temperatures but we have a northeast wind of nine miles per hour all in all not that bad as a step outside. Same thing for the rest of the region. Temperatures hovering in the low 60s, mid uh, upper 50s for some areas. Johnstown at 58 degrees, but then resuming out to the rest of the state, 67. That'll be the warm spot on the map over in Erie. Usually that's Philadelphia, but it's Philadelphia coming in right around the mid 60s at 64 degrees. So a quite even spread of temperatures here in Pennsylvania. But another thing we're looking at, though, are those clouds. We have the higher level clouds here in State College. But as you move farther towards the southeast, towards the Harrisburg and Philadelphia, you do see the chance for a few showers and even some thicker clouds towards the Philly metro area but that things will be changing because we have a system coming in that's going to keep the clouds towards the southeastern portion of the state and it's going to stall as we head into the rest of the week and is going again going to hold those clouds towards the Philly metro area. Har Harrisburg Allentown will get involved on that action as time goes on. Even State College seeing some of the clouds, but we are going to be right on that border so it could see a mix of sunshine and clouds and that's going to be the story for at least today and into tomorrow for at least tomorrow into the middle of the week and even maybe even on Thursday. Thursday, but that's going to be the tough part to watch. But first, 45 degrees for a low this evening, partly cloudy, a northeast wind of 5 miles per hour. Then as we head into the day tomorrow, a few clouds hanging around, but otherwise mostly sunny, 63 degrees for the high winds northeast at 5 miles per hour. Again, for the seven-day forecast, here's what we can expect. Mostly sunny on Thursday, 64 degrees for the high, or mostly, yeah, mainly sunny. A few clouds may be lingering around depending on where that cloud line sets up with that system off the coast, but then by Friday remaining clear again sitting on that cloud line 65 degrees for the high Saturday Sunday while the showers do move in for Saturday 63 degrees for the high. So with those showers, we could see some fog building in Sunday morning, but then we do have those fall feels because with that, you know, just like that little twinge of fall, the fog in the morning breaking away to the sunshine in the afternoon, but temperatures drop to a high of 58 degrees, but then we bounce back into the mid 60s by Monday with a few clouds moving on in. For the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm student meteorologist Patrick Wright. Make it a great day, everybody.